It's the end of an era for Blue Sky Studios, the long-established animation division of the former Fox Studios, as their current owner, Disney, has today announced they will be closing their doors. All the details, right here. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does wonders in getting my content out there, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all the cartoon news. Deadline has today reported that Disney will be shutting down Blue Sky Studios, the animation studio behind the Ice Age franchise, feature adaptations of Peanuts and Horton Hears a Who, and a slew of original hits, including the Academy Award nominated Ferdinand, Rio, Robots, and their most recent Spies in Disguise, the one and only of their features to be distributed by Disney. Over 33 years, Blue Sky, the only major animation studio located on the east coast of the United States, turned out a total of 13 films and grossed close to $6 billion at the global box office. But now, the Mouse House has prematurely cut their lifespan. A Disney spokesperson told Deadline that their decision to shutter the studio's operations is to be blamed on the current economic realities caused by the COVID pandemic. The spokesperson noted that the difficult decision was made after much consideration and evaluation. Deadline further noted that the past year has been challenging for Disney on many fronts, not just on the studio side, but also with theme park closures and cruise line dockings. They noted that due to this, sustaining a third feature animation studio was no longer viable. Deadline states that Blue Sky will continue to operate until April, at which point 450 employees will be affected. While no other major studio is set to absorb any of the studio's staff or operations, Disney is said to be exploring open positions for staffers at other international studios. Blue Sky has currently been working on a feature film titled Nimona, which was due for release in 2022. Directed by Patrick Osborne and based on the 2012 comic series, the film was to focus on a young shapeshifter who teams up with a mad scientist to expose the ruler of the kingdom. As a result of the studio's closure, the film, which reportedly had 10 months of production left to go, will be scrapped. Various artists working on the project have taken to Twitter to voice their disappointment. Osborne, a Disney veteran, said, Truly heartbroken for Blue Sky. There is an incredible amount of talent in the studio. They were working on some wonderful things. While co-writer Noel Stevenson noted, Sad day. Thanks for all the well wishes and sending so much love to everyone at Blue Sky. Forever grateful for all the care and joy you poured into Nimona. And collaborator Pamela Ribbon, one of the writers behind Disney's Moana and Ralph Breaks the Internet, stated, Blue Sky was filled with funny, talented, passionate, creative artists who welcomed you in as a family. I'm so sad you won't get to see Nimona. We were doing something pretty great. The last project to be released from Blue Sky will be an Ice Age prequel film, The Adventures of Buck Wild, which was announced at last year's Disney Investor Day to be dropping as a Disney Plus exclusive in 2022. It's likely that production on the film has already been completed. As Ice Age was Blue Sky's most lucrative asset, earning the company $3.2 billion at the global box office, more than half the studio's life earnings, it's said that Disney will continue to produce more franchise entries and spin-offs though which studio they will use for this is unknown. Unfortunately, pandemic or not, the fate of Blue Sky did seem in the balance following Disney's acquisition back in March 2019. And while Disney and Pixar are ramping up the quantity of their output, this doesn't necessarily mean we'll be getting less animation. In fact, animated productions are likely going to be at an all-time high, especially if we also take into account Netflix's current push for more animated content. However, what this does mean is that we're likely to get far fewer animated theatrical films featuring original characters and stories, considering Disney's focus right now is capitalizing on existing proven IP. Blue Sky, aside from their flagship Ice Age franchise, were one of few major studios who continually strove to explore new and exciting concepts. That said, the closure of Blue Sky is absolutely going to leave a gaping void in the animation world. I remember seeing the first Ice Age in cinemas when I was only 11 years old, and it absolutely blew my mind, certainly shaping my love for the art form at a very young age. I also remember watching the film's teaser trailer, which was one of the internet's first true viral videos, on constant repeat for months. 
It's particularly sad that so many incredibly talented artists now have their careers in the balance and I wish the absolute best to all of those affected and just know that you will have your chance to have your voices heard again. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the biggest cartoon news, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more regular installments like this. And if you're keen on diving deep into the history of all your favourite animated characters, don't forget to check out my continuing cartoon evolution series linked at the end of the video. And at that, it's over to you. I want to know what is your favourite Blue Sky film or your fondest memory of them. Let's celebrate them on this very, very sad day. Far away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.